So having left Raven's home, Esther said, I'd love to go visit a friend of mine. Met him on the first day in Chicago. And his name is uh, Axa Buhler. And he was excited. She says, I'd love to meet, meet him, any friend of yours. And so Esther, uh, she drove oh, a little while and ended up in a historical district of old Chicago. Homes were all, all well kept, large homes. And she pulled into a, a very nice uh, paved drive and parked in front of a black Escalade. And this somewhat puzzled her and she turned to Day and said, there could be a problem here. I'm not certain, but I don't want you to be in the middle of any dispute. However, if we both go in, I want you to remain off to the side. And they said, I can do that, whatever you ask for. And Esther said, all right, let's, let's walk on in. And so as she passed the Escalade, she glanced in, trying to get an idea of how many people might be there, touched the hood, which was very warm, indicating perhaps they hadn't been there long. And they walked up the steps to the porch. There were marble steps, half a dozen of them, to a uh, raised, very large platform uh, front porch. And she rang the bell again. <clears throat> it was an old fashioned bell on this one. You pulled a key out and it rang a bell. <clears throat> so they stood there at the front door and eventually a man dressed in black came and uh, she smiled at him with her typical uh, friendly I'm innocent smile and Esther said uh, I'm here to see Axel Buhler he's a good friend of mine and this is my sister Day who I'm going to introduce to him so he looked at the two girls and said all right follow me and he stepped aside, they walked into the entryway and he shut the door and then he said, uh, we're in the dining room. And so he walked ahead of them and returned to the dining room. Uh, they took a seat off to the side and Esther greeted uh, Axel with a big smile and she went up and gave him a hug and they, they spoke in German. He loves speaking in German and Esther did too. It was good practice for her. <clears throat> and then she went over to Otto, Axel's brother, and smiled at him, gave him a hug, and smiled and turned around. And the man in black, uh, he had a companion 
that he had brought. And so there were two of them that I, Esther had thought arrived in the Escalade. And his companion was standing to the, uh, to the side of uh, Otto. And so the man in black said something about, all right, let's get back down to business. Uh, I'd like to um, finish this up real quick. What do you say to my proposal? And Esther, still smiling, spoke to Otto in German and said, uh, is, is there a problem here? And Otto said, well, his two men arrived unexpectedly and they're offering to buy my uh, shares of uh, stock in the World Organization, the World Wrestling Organization, the WOW. And she continued speaking to him in German and she said, uh, did they offer a good price? And he said they offered twice the value of them. And Esther smiled and said uh, to Otto, and what do you think? Otto said, well, I'm a little offended by the fact that it's an unsolicited offer and it appears that they want it one way or another. <clears throat> Esther said that perhaps we should make a counter offer of six times the market value and that if they don't accept it, I'll buy it and then I will never sell the stock and we'll see what their response is. And so Otto knew from previous history with Esther that she was a very capable person. She had obviously uh, disarmed his guard and entered the uh, hospital room that was supposed to be kept private. So he smiled and then again speaking in English, he said to the man in black, Esther is going to offer you or suggest to you our counter offer. And so Esther smiled at the man in black and said, we'll sell you our interest for six times the market value. And if you refuse it, I will buy all of the stock at that price and I will never sell it. And at that point, the man next to Otto, he started to reach for what appeared to be a weapon to Esther and uh, his waistband. Esther quickly grabbed his arm, put her fist in his middle rib and disarmed the man. He went to his knees and had an expression of complete shock. So Esther put the gun in her small of her back and again smiling at the man in black said, 
that she was very disappointed in this action and that he had 60 seconds to decide if he wanted their offer. So the man in black smiled at Esther and said, well, I am very impressed and yes, I will accept your offer. So he went over to the papers in front of Otto and made corrections on the price and that showed him and then showed Otto two places where to sign and then removed one copy for Otto <clears throat> and congratulated him on making a small fortune on his investment and that his lawyers would contact them tomorrow and complete the deal. And then he helped his companion get up and they left. Then Esther turned to Otto and said, is that Bratsworth I smell or German sausage? And Otto laughed and said, it is German sausage and we haven't eaten yet. Are you girls hungry? And Esther said, there's only one, or maybe two meals that I prefer in this world. And one of them is German sausage. totally love it and what do you think they she turned to day oh and day says it sounds really good to me and smells great so the girls decided to have uh, dinner with Otto and Axel and on their way to the kitchen where Otto was leading him, they all laughed a little bit and said, this is going to be a real culinary experience. I Otto said, I love having guests for dinner. And Axel said, it is really a wonderful thing to have company. Esther, I'm so glad you're here. And I'm glad that you brought your sister. I think Otto wondered about the men that had just left. And Esther made the comment, the man in black was a very, really intelligent person. He got what he came for. There's nothing to worry about. So all four went to the kitchen and had a fantastic German meal. <laughs>